there are several ways to make new kits, um, some that take a little bit longer and some that are pretty quick. So here I am logged into GimKit. I'm going to press new kit here, this blue button on the right. And from here, the first thing I do is I name it. I'm just going to leave this stuff this as is for now. And I'm just going to grab the first quest or photo that came up. So here are all the ways that I can create a GIM kit. So first I can add question by question. So here's my question. Here is my option A, B, C, D. A couple of things you can notice here though, are you can add a photo and you can actually add audio in the upgraded option. Each um, optional answer can also have a photo as well. For the text input, you can add as many correct answers as you want. So those, that's one way to add questions. A way that's a little bit quicker is to use this create with flashcards. So if you do create with flashcards, what it does is you can put in um, your questions and the correct answer, and again, your audio and photo, and then the question um, multiple options will just auto-generate. So I could put all my questions here, all the correct answers, and it will auto-generate those options. This Collaborate with Kit Collab, what it does is it actually sends to the kids a code and they create the questions and answers. This one, though, I think is a hidden gem, this Add from Question Bank. What it does is it allows me to search um, kits that either I already have or kits out there on the web that I can then create a new set from. So for instance, maybe I want to grab some American football questions. I could either add all the questions or I can add one question at a time. So if it's the end of a unit um, and I want to pull several small lessons together, this add from question bank is a great option. So again, I started by being at the home page from GIM kit and then pressing new kit. And then I had all of those different options to create. Have fun.